view of look, how do we use XRP to solve an institutional use case? Our goal hasn't been to go out and curry favor with the speculators. It's really been to solve a big problem around how payments flow cross-border for banks, for payment providers. We've been very fortunate by focusing on that segment and signing up really over 100 customers now, ranging from some of the largest banks in the world to you know small banks. But I think it, Wall Street has responded because people, I think, recognize at the end of the day, any digital asset is only as valuable as the problem it's solving. And if it's just speculative over the long term, that's not going to work out well. So but how have you got Wall Street executives comfortable because you have a lot of prominent Wall Street people saying, or uh, firms saying, you can't buy Bitcoin, and they're saying Bitcoin specifically, but it's still a digital yeah. currency. How do you get them comfortable with that, saying, you know what, use this digital currency, not Bitcoin, because this one's okay? You know, I think it's incredibly important that the whole industry recognize that we have to work with the regulators. We have to work with the system. I've been fond of saying, the blockchain revolution is happening from within the system. It's not gonna happen from outside the system. There's some in the Bitcoin community that have really advocated kind of, you know, not just down with banks, but down with governments. And it, we have been a contrarian, relatively speaking, in that regard. And so I think when we think about an XRP flow and solving that institutional money flow, where we've, we've announced pilots with Western Union and MoneyGram, all of those transactions are happening through a registered financial institution to a registered financial institution where there's a KYC, a, something called a KYC check, know your customer. Every financial tra transaction is through a regulated endpoint. And so when regulators hear that and they understand, they're like, oh, so you're not circumventing regulations. You're not trying to enable anonymous transactions. And I think that's incredibly important for the world to understand that like, to the extent there's concern, regulatory concerns about digital assets, not all assets are created the same and we should understand what the differences are. So, all right, so part of that is, um, you know, people have called Ripple the more centralized currency, right? Yeah. Um, for various technical reasons. But is that something that got Wall Street more comfortable? The fact that you, you, the, you, the company, have more control over the currency than maybe a completely open source, something like Bitcoin? Well, I, I think, you know, Ripple is a centralized company investing on top of a decentralized technology called the XRP Ledger. Okay. And so that part is decentralized, but I think why it has given us an advantage where we have this strategic asset, we have $60 billion worth of XRP, and we can use that as an asset to invest in the XRP ecosystem. There's no party more interested in the success of the XRP ecosystem than Ripple. We want that to be massively successful because we own a lot of XRP. So it gives us an opportunity to invest in that, and we've invested in venture funds, we've invested in hedge funds, we've invested in companies, and we've also partnered with payment providers, we've partnered with market makers, in order to make sure that XRP is the most useful digital asset out there for solving a cross-border payments problem. So that brings, okay, so the, that brings up the question of, if you're partnering with some of the premier players in the space and you want XRP, the currency, to do well because you hold some, how important is partnering with somebody like Coinbase, who is effectively now the kingmaker of coins, how important would it be to get a listing there? Well, you know, there are obviously uh, probably over 100 exchanges around the world. Uh, Coinbase is one that obviously has a lot of success. You know, when we, we XRP is listed at over 60 exchanges around the world today. The, the liquidity between fiat and XRP is very important to us. You think about solving a payments problem, we want to make sure there's good liquidity between lots of fiat, whether it's the Mexican peso, the Philippine peso, the U.S. dollar. Today, we have liquidity with the U.S. dollar through uh, exchanges like Bitstamp and Kraken. And we want to obviously continue to see that grow because we want to make sure XRP is the most liquid. Now, as it relates to Coinbase specifically, you know, Coinbase will have to decide what they want to do, make the announcements that are appropriate for them. But we certainly don't comment on, you know, status of those kinds of things. Let's bring BK back in. He is in front of uh, apparently the Golden Gate Bridge, uh, <laughs> the Bay Bridge. So um, people were paying attention. I know people that were paying my, attention. That was BK's you little joke. So Garlinghouse yeah, is very exactly. diplomatic about whether or not he would be added to Coinbase. He said it's up to Coinbase. What do you think, BK? What's the next logical so, coin to be added? I mean, certainly, certainly Ripple is probably one of those. Ripple, Stellar uh, are one of those. I don't have any special insight. Uh, but, you know, Coinbase is a strategic partner for most coins out there. And, you know, Ripple is a currency. Uh, I, I don't think, and I'm not a lawyer, but I don't think you can argue that it's uh, necessarily a security at all. So it would be a natural step for them to do that. Uh, you know, so the, I would say Ripple or Stellar would be my odds on favorite to be the next one uh, to be put on Coinbase. The other thing you got to remember is, you know, Coinbase is being very thoughtful about what they're doing. They're trying to be 
the safest and simplest exchange. This is what we heard uh, from their CEO yesterday. And so <coughs> they're going to be deliberate about it. Uh, they are going to make sure that everything that goes on there is a high-quality asset, and they've done their due diligence. We should actually know, too, and before we move on from this topic, that Ripple had actually gone up in value, or XRP had gone up in value on this notion that we were going to be speaking to Garlinghouse and Asif Hirji on Fast Money on our, our crypto show yesterday because people thought that was a surefire way of <laughs> telling that Ripple was going to be listed on Coinbase, which didn't happen. And that right now Coinbase is facing a shareholder lawsuit surrounding the circumstances of the BCH rise, the Bitcoin cash rise ahead of it being added to the platform. So this is why we're, we're really talking about this and, and Coinbase is being extra careful about how they tell the world which coin they're going to list. But Seabrook's got a question. Exactly. Hey, BK, it's, it's DSBK. A uh, question on Ripple. Hey. Uh, Ripple's uh, coin is not correlated to transactions, right, where a Stellar is correlated to transactions, a true decentralized platform where you have adoption really driving the value of the coin. So do you look at Ripple and say that is concerning to you over the long term? Wouldn't you prefer to own a, a coin like Stellar that, that, that gives you that sort of, you know, really true decentralized sort of platform? Well, I own both uh, for two different reasons. They've kind of taken, first of all, the, the, the Stellar and Ripple uh, platform are very, very similar, developed by the same people, uh, essentially. Uh, and they've since split and they're developing differently. But uh, what I would say about Ripple, that has been a concern about Ripple, that you don't necessarily need the Ripple currency to operate the first product that they uh, released, which was essentially going after SWIFT interbank global payments. Now they have other products that they're announcing that you actually do use the currency for. And so that to me is the game changing piece for Ripple because it does say, you know what? If these products take off, and they're very early stages, they're just trials, but if they take off, then mm -hmm. the currency is going to be an integral part of it.